Hey, how's it going? It's Nick. Uh, Stipe Miocic wins uh, the heavyweight title again. Uh, so that's awesome. That's exciting to hear. It's so sad because, like, you know, in heavyweights, like, you know, Stipe and Daniel are my favorite fighters, right? So it's, like, it's a bummer to see him fight, but it's, like, part of me kind of wanted to see Stipe win. Like, it's so hard because, like, if they're fighting anybody else, I'm only rooting for them, right? But when they're fighting each other, it's like, I like them both. I like Stipe a bit more, uh, just because, like, well, he, he's, like, one of the most dominant heavyweights, you know? And, St- and, like, you know, Daniel was, but he was fighting in lightweight for a long time, so you kind of forget about what he did in heavyweight. Um, but, yeah, so, they fight. There's so much boxing. Uh, Daniel takes him down. Stipe takes Daniel down. Um... But, again, a lot of boxing, you know, short kicks, stuff like that. But, uh, like, Daniel was, like, holding his hands down and then punching him. Like, he was pushing his hands down and then punching him, you know. And uh, that was kind of working for a while. But then, like, Steve is like, ah, very cool. Very cool. You're going to hold my hands down and put your hands up way high. And then, like, Steve just kept going for the body. And, like, it was, like, uh, over and over. It was, like... Daniel tried to grab his hand, Stipe banged the body, and just, like, he repeated, like, like, six or seven times, and, like, Daniel had enough, he's like, alright, and Daniel kind of slowed down, like, he wasn't as moving as much, and then, like, Stipe just put it on him and eventually knocked him out, or not knocked him out, but he knocked him down, and, you know, bunch of four punches, and then he won, but it was an exciting, exciting fight, uh, Daniel put up a really good fight, um, <sighs> I, I think Daniel should retire. I, I, I don't I don't need to see the John Jones fight. I really don't. Like, uh, you know. Would I like, you know, Daniel to get a win on John? I love that. I love that. That'd be awesome. Do I need to see it? No. Do, do, do I need to see Daniel fight anymore? No, he's done enough. He has done enough. Like, uh, he's a legend. Just retire, man. Like, you have nothing else to prove. You may say, oh, I need to beat John. John needs that for the fight more than you do. Trust me. Look, look at the light heavyweight division. Who's John Jones going to fight next? There you go. There's, there's, there's nobody. There's literally nobody. It's a bunch of new guys. Which is cool. John can fight those and beat the brakes off of them. That's awesome. But he's not going to get the money fight like Daniel Cormier. And uh, I, I hope Daniel realizes that. Dan, Daniel's the A-side. John needs him. Daniel Daniel does not need John. He doesn't. John's not fighting for the heavyweight title. Daniel is. You know, John's not winning the heavyweight title. You know, Daniel did. You know, that kind of thing. Daniel's putting himself out there. To lose. John isn't. John's hiding in the light heavyweight division. And I get it. Get that money, you know. But Daniel's the one putting himself out there. In my opinion, Daniel is more of a legend than John. Daniel didn't cheat. You know, he didn't use drugs. Um, so if Daniel decides to fight John Jones as his last fight, Daniel, do not fight John for less than like 30 to 50 million. You just don't have to. If they offer you anything less than 30, 50 million, there's no point in fighting John. Like, the only time, the only time I want to see Daniel fight John Jones is if Daniel gets paid life-changing money, 30, 50 million. That, that's what I want to see Daniel get paid. And if he gets paid any less than that, I don't want to see the fight. I don't want Daniel to take the fight. But that's, that's my opinion, you know. But, again... That's like that's like the story is like all about Daniel lost and it's about what he's gonna do next. No one's really talking about what Stipe is gonna do next. And part of that is because you know you ask Stipe, hey Stipe, who's your next fight? Oh, you know I just wanna go home and relax and sit in the hot tub. Ah, cool, very cool, you know Stipe. Stipe is a hell of a fighter and I love watching him. But as far as selling fights or getting you hyped about seeing the next fight, it all comes from his opponent because Stipe doesn't talk, which is fine. Like, he's just like Demetrius Johnson. Like, they're amazing fighters. They just don't talk or, you know, trash talk, which is cool, you know. But that's why there's not as much hype when you're like, who's, who's Stipe going to fight next? You know, there's no hype for that because Stipe doesn't, you know, play into it. But that's his game. 
you know, and he's got that's gotten him this far, so he, you can't really, you know, say bad things about it. So yeah, it was an amazing fight overall. Good chance to watch it.